Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be unbagging the Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. These were sent to me by Ipsy Open Studios, so thank you so much to Ipsy. Um, I am a big fan of Ipsy, if you guys don't already know. I do still have my paid boxes that I get every month and I kinda do a comparison and make sure that they're still in par with my PR boxes. Most of the time, actually, my paid subscriptions end up being better, <laughs> which is fantastic because we always want to get our money's worth. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the theme. This theme for the month of May is Wild Beauty. So it says, this month, delight in all things that make you feel alive. A fresh mani, botanical skincare, going barefoot in the grass, and let your imagination run wild. So that is fun. So let's go ahead and start with the glam bag. This is what it looks like here. You got some pretty purple and pink flowers on here. Super pretty, I like it. And then just the tab, it says Ipsy. Nothing too special about it this month. So let's see what goodies we have in here. The first item is a lip liner by Beauty For Real in the shade Neutral Deep. Typically, I don't use lip liners. Um, I definitely didn't today, but there are, I noticed there are some colors that I kind of want to start using lip liners on. I think it would just help the application. Um, so, yeah, we're going to give this a swatch. Oh, that's really pretty. So that's the color right there. It's actually pretty close to what I'm wearing today. Um, hmm, nice. Okay, so... We are going to try that out. <laughs> I like how creamy it is, it's really nice. The next item is from Ico. This is the Black Magic Cocoa Edit Liquid Liner, and I think this is a brown shade, because it does have like a dark brown line on the bottom. Ooh, it's like a, Kind of like a burgundy brown. That's definitely something I don't have in my collection. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It might just look black, but it's really not. Um, I like brown liners more so than black. It, it's more in my comfort zone. Um, but this will be really nice. It's kind of like a mixture of both. <laughs> and I like the tip on here. It's like um, the tip. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. It's bleeding. Oh my, oh, look at this. Watch, 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 watch. Look, what the heck? Look at this. You see that? What the, oh my, here comes another one. <laughs> it's bleeding. I'm not going to keep it, you guys, if it's doing this. The tip is like uh, the tattoo liner from Kat Von D. Yeah, it's, that's a lot coming out that's gonna be like a huge mess oh that's a bummer that's such a bummer I don't know we'll see I don't know why it's doing that hmm we're gonna set this aside and see um, if I can fix that it's like literally all over the place the next item we have is from First Aid Beauty, and this actually makes me so happy because I really, really enjoy First Aid Beauty skincare. I think they are a phenomenal brand. I've found some amazing products that work for me. Um, so this is the Eye Duty um, Brightening Cream. I know it's a little bit tiny, but it is the Glam Bag, which are sample sizes. So this is like this is an eye cream so a little bit is gonna go a long way so even though it is tiny like literally you only have to dab just a tiny bit on your eye or your under eye on your under eye <laughs> excuse me um, so yeah this you can actually it says apply to the entire orbital eye area so I'm super excited to test to test this out the next item we have is from Lovecraft Beauty this is an eyeshadow primer, okay. Um, I like testing out eyeshadow primers. Now, I have two eyeshadow primers that I use. Um, 
I used to use Urban Decay like a long time ago, but since then my number one, and I mean my number one eyeshadow primer is from Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, this is their Clean Canvas Eye Base. If you have not tried this out, you are missing out. I promise you that. Uh, the second one, I mean I do have the matte uh, soft ogre like paint pot, but sometimes my eyes get my the skin on my eyes get really dried out and this does not perform well on those days but this always performs well <laughs> so these are my top two and then uh so it'll be nice to try this lovecraft beauty eyeshadow primer and then our last product is from complex culture this is an eyeshadow palette nice i have a lot of their brushes and i really like their brushes they have some really nice quality brushes all right so just a little plain packaging looks like it's going to be a quad and it is cute you could definitely do a look with that so you got two matte shades and two shimmer shades sorry if i can get the glare out of there It's really pretty, really, really pretty, but because I have an extensive collection, <laughs> someone's coming in the garage. Because I have an extensive collection, um, I have these shades already. I'm 99% I'm sure that I have these shades. So I'm going to set this aside for a future giveaway. And speaking of giveaways, I actually do have one going on right now. I will link it down below and if you are interested go check that out and enter okay so let's do a quick review that's it for the glam bag so we got the eyeshadow primer which I'm super excited for we got the quad which is uh, has really really pretty colors we got the eye cream which is probably one of my top things I'm super excited for I cannot wait to test this out love this brand great skincare we got the lip liner which i'm i want to start digging into lip liner so i'm super excited for that and we got the eyeliner which did kind of drip all over my hand um but hopefully i can fix it so that's it for the glam bag let's go ahead and move on to the glam bag plus so this is the glam bag plus this month just like the glam bag only bigger it's drawstring same design nothing different Okay, so ooh, I see some good goodies. The first item is from, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. It's either Rodial, Rodial, I don't know. Uh, it is the Soft Focus Glow Drops. So I'm assuming it's like a liquid highlighter. Oh no, I am wrong. This is a Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer. Ultimate Glow and Be Radiant with Soft Focus Glow Drops, formulated with actives to brighten the complexion while it's providing the perfect skin for priming base and makeup. Hmm. Can also be a look used alone for natural dewy skin. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's actually really like luxurious feeling, very fancy. It is glass, so hmm. I don't typically go for like hydrating primers, but this is interesting. <laughs> oh, it's got a very heavy scent to it. It almost kind of smells like grapefruit, but mixed with something else. I'm not too much of a fan of that smell whatever it is mm. I don't really see well yeah when I, when I get into the light I can see the dewiness I'm not a fan of the smell Ugh. okay we might just have to pass that along because I don't know if that's going to work for me. Yeah, it's like a strong grapefruit smell. That's not my favorite. <laughs> so I'm going to pass that along. The next item we have is from, it says insert name here. 
INH Super Shine Serum. This hydrates and adds shine and nourishes. Okay, so insert name here. That's an interesting brand name. <laughs> so this is the bottle, nothing fancy. It says made with love and passion fruit, macadamia, sunflower, and grape seed. Add shine and moisture with our specially formulated finishing serum. We made it sure we made sure it was jam-packed with nourishing oils because you deserve the good stuff. Bad hair days gone. Okay, so oh, so this is for your hair. It says rub two to three pumps of Super Shine Serum in your palms. Apply to your hair starting at the ends, then working your way up to the roots. Style as you normally would for use on dry or wet hair. Oh, that's kind of exciting. Okay. We will definitely give this a test out because uh, that's fun. That's something I haven't received before. So that's cool. The next product is from Hemp's. This is the Pomegranate Herbal Body Butter. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, because I constantly have to have lotion. My hands stay so dry, like the life has been sucked out of them because my hands are constantly in water at work and it just sucks. So it's, let's see, is there a pomegranate hydrate and renew? Let's see what this smells like. Okay. I hope it smells good because I'm literally about to put this all over my hands. <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. It smells good. Oh yeah. so good <laughs> oh man oh yeah I love that oh I love that and actually I've heard of this this brand it's actually a pretty decent brand the hemp's so super excited for that um, it doesn't feel too greasy I hate it when the lotions feel like you got grease all over your hands and you don't want to touch anything especially like your phone and whatever but this one actually feels really nice. It dries really fast. So the next product we got is Saturday Skin. Now that's a lot of like not makeup products. <laughs> so uh, okay, so this is the Pretty Pop Probiotic Powdered Whipped Cream. So this is a moisturizer. I actually have tried a couple things from Saturday Skin and I did enjoy them. So it's not bad that I'm receiving it. I just, I do prefer makeup more. Uh, I do have a drawer full of skincare over there. I have got to get through. Like, I got to start using this stuff all the time. <laughs> um, the packaging is super pretty. Super, super pretty. Let's see. Let's give a smell to this. Oh, that smells good, too. Oh, I like that. I like that. I actually even like kind of like the whipped consistency to it. That looks like it's going to be really nice. So, okay. I'm, I'm excited for this one. And last but not least, our only makeup product <laughs> in the Glam Bag Plus. So, this is the Formula Z Transforming Beauty Cheek Palette. Okay. A little holographic moment there and then you have the same on the palette itself and then this is what it looks like okay all right these are definitely colors I would use so looks like we got a blush and maybe three highlighters the names are Mega Yacht, Class Act, Extra Fierce, and I'm Talented. Let's give some swatches because I'm actually really excited for this. That's a really, really pretty, like, neutral looking blush, which is definitely, like, up my alley. So, oh, that feels so soft. That is beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. Oh, it's 
it's so soft. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. There's, okay, so this is definitely another blush. I was a little unsure at first because I thought I saw some spike, sparkle in it, but it's a blush, not a highlight. So, and then this last one. Oh, you guys, these colors are so pretty. Look at that. I love that blush color. That's like perfect for me. That one's definitely a little dark uh, for blush, but maybe with a light hand. And then that highlight, that's definitely too dark of a highlight, but it can be used, you know, as a, an eyeshadow. That blush though, that blush though is so pretty. <laughs> Super excited for that. Okay, so really quickly, let's go ahead over the Glam Bag Plus. So we got the um, Insert Your Name Here Hair Serum. Super excited for this. It's a product that I haven't used before. And definitely an interesting name. So happy for that. I'm very happy for the Body Butter. Um, it smells amazing and it doesn't feel greasy. So very happy to have this. I can always use more like this. This makes me happy. We got the Saturday Skin Pretty Pop Moisturizer, which smells amazing. I love the texture of it. I think it's going to feel amazing on the skin. We got the Cheek Palette, which is pretty, definitely has some pretty shades in here. As you guys know, the blush kind of like took the cake. Very, very happy with that blush color. And then we got the, um, the, what is it, that Glow uh, Serum, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it was. I'm sorry you guys. I already like put it to the side. But uh yeah, all in all, I think this was a win for the Glam Bag Plus. Yes, I didn't get a lot of makeup products, but the products that I did get are really nice. Alright guys, so. so that's it for the sun bagging. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because I would love to have you. And uh yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.